Hello, my name's Lee. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you've been before, you might have seen me change the flexi hoses on this. So today's job is I'm going to be changing the discs and pads and the hubs and wheel bearings on the front of this Nissan 350Z. It's a little project I've got going on. It needs a little bit of maintenance. So I managed to get all the parts. These are original Brembo discs and pads. And I managed to get a good quality SKF wheel bearing and hub assembly already pressed together so hopefully that should make life a wee bit easier we'll crack on get her up on a jack i've already jacked up the other side of the car um, put it on an axle stand because i want to be able to spin the wheels um, to give me access to all the bolts on the back of this hub um, i've done a little bit of research online there's other videos showing you how to do this so this isn't a tutorial it's just me documenting what i'm up to so i'll do a bit of time lapse of getting it up in the air and wheels off and stuff and then come back when i've got something to show you right so here we are the first job i'm going to do is to get the caliper out of the way so i've got these little cotter pins to remove then these pins that retain the actual brake pads this little retaining clip that'll all get a clean up obviously we're putting new disc and pads in there so i'm going to get I'll try and get the caliper nice and clean as well so i'm going to be using this stuff here dragon's breath it's a it stinks like rotten eggs it's a um iron remover so it's a, it's a wheel stroke brake cleaner you can you can use it on the bodywork as well it just gets off any um any iron that's left behind but it does stink but it does a good job so i'm going to get a bit of that sprayed onto the caliper after i've got the pads out and then let that soak in a little bit and rinse it off when it's had a chance to work I've got the, the pads out, I've squeezed use this tool here to compress the pistons back in so that's made the level in the reservoir come right up um, it's going to be another good opportunity just squeezing that fluid backwards and forwards. The reason I changed the brake fluid beforehand because I knew there'd be a bit too much in there. So I'm going to pushing it backwards and forwards through the system a couple of times. Just going to hopefully get rid of any last little drops of air that are in there. So I'll bleed them again after I've fitted the new pads and disc on this side. I put all the retaining clips to soak in a little bit of that iron stuff, and you can see that pinky colour as it starts to dissolve all of the old steel. And I've given the caliper spray and you can see it dripping down there so that's going to start cleaning it up a little bit the next thing to do is to release the caliper itself so there's two big bolts on the back there and they are 22 mil i believe so next job is to get them undone get the caliper out of the way and i shall just hang it up on a bungee cord off of this top arm so it's out of the way Got all the disc off, calipers safely up out of the way. I've also got the ABS sensor out of the way. So we can see now we've got four bolts that hold on the back of well, hopefully you can see there's four bolts that hold that whole hub assembly on. Now the tricky one is this one here because this bottom arm kind of interferes with the bolt a little bit. So I've got a little short wobble extension on my ratchet socket I've already got on there it's a 17 mil and to help get access to that I've just put the jack under the suspension just raised it up a little bit it just helps that bottom arm to clear itself out of the way a little bit so you can get the socket on the other ones are all easily accessible so that's the tricky one there down at the bottom but you can see the sockets on it just about with the wobble I'll just about clear the top of this nut as well so hopefully that will come off all right So this is the stage we're at now. I've got the hub 
off. This bottom bolt is basically captive by that bottom arm. So the only way you'd get that fully out, I think, is to disconnect the bottom ball joint. I don't really want to do that and mess about with the, the geometry of anything. So I've got the, the dust shield off. Obviously the old hub is out. So I've just put some of that cleaner on to let it soak in a little bit. Once that's soaked, I'll agitate it, give everything a rinse off, get all this old stuff out of the way um, and get the new stuff ready to assemble. Right, so we're back ready for assembly. We've got the new disc pads, wheel bearing. This back dust cover was a little bit rusty, so I've cleaned that up, given it a quick coat of heat proof paint. Got the tools that we need, all of the hardware cleaned up really nice. So we'll get it back on the time lapse, put it all back together. Everything's cleaned up quite nice. So we're ready to go. Okay, so I've had a little issue here. This was one of the sliders that the pads locate into. And for some reason, I've just messed about quite a bit. It screws into that location there. And what I've worked out, if you can see the other ones, they all sit dead flush with the edges of the caliper. And this one was kind of riding uphill a little bit and making the pad not sit in there. So I've cleaned everything up. There's a little bit of corrosion behind there. But also I think this tab, even though I hadn't taken this off, the corrosion had pushed this back up, so the tab had bent slightly. So when I screwed it in, it was just pulling it, pulling that back edge back up. So it's a bit of a pain in the arse to get to, to be perfectly honest. And it's a 25 mil, sorry, a T25 to get it out. But hopefully now, when I screw this in, yeah, see now, that's sitting flush. Whereas before it was riding up at this back edge, so it was not down the pad in. So the acid test will be, does the pad now actually fit? Fingers crossed. And yeah, she slides right down in there. That would not go in before, it's really tight. Now it's going in there lovely. So I'm happy with that. I'll grease her up, get it done properly. everything back together that little pain in the bum with the slider is all dealt with now just gave the brakes another quick little bleed give the disc a last clean wheel back on onto the other side I'm not going to bother filming the other side but you've seen the whole process now so hopefully if you found that of any any use for future reference any problems that you might come across I'm just really doing it to document this for myself and maybe any future owners of the car so thanks for watching I'll see you again soon